Hello from the south coast of England, welcome to St Mary's. My name is Derek Ray, with me in the commentary position is the Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. And live action to come from the oldest cup competition of them all, the FA Cup. It is Southampton and they take on Carlisle United. Well, thank you Derek. With being big favourites, complacency can be a problem. You've got to use that to your advantage if you're playing a home side as expected to go through. Can they put the pressure on in the first 20 minutes and hold out and then try and nick the game in the second half? A bit of running room now on the wing. Well, sometimes you can't argue with top-notch defending. Now can they counter clinically? Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. Lee, what are you expecting from him? Well, every defender goes into the game not wanting three goals in three games to be the player you're playing against, and that's the case today. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Luca Bacchio. Lemina. Real chance. Well, they would have been in a decent position there, but offside. Oh, what a wasted opportunity that is. It's all about translating threats in and he's made headway it's got to be and a goal it is the opener in this game well keep it tight that's what both managers would have been insane but now the opening goal's gone in tactics have got to change but here's the replay you've got to ask questions about the back line and the goalkeeper they're simply not there Opening goal of the game then. Oh goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Couldn't keep it. Chance to attack using width. Read it superbly to take back possession. And the defender got the last touch. That'll be a corner. Corner kick played in. And a goal. The equaliser. Superb entertainment. Even Steven won a piece on this match. Given away. Here's Lamina. And that's an important intervention. Good technique displayed. Real danger. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Excellent. Ball. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Luca Bacchio, tremendous intuition to win it back. Lemina. Luca Bacchio. Lemina. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Promising sequence. Options in the centre. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball.
Referee and the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Two minutes. And attempting the through ball. Will it be? And they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. Underway again, and Southampton with the advantage here. That is that for the first half here. You've certainly got to give this man high marks for him. Really tense battle so far, and now the second half is underway. Couldn't keep the ball. And that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick. Elliot. The first leg of the Carabao Cup semi final will be live with us here on EA TV. It's Southampton facing Spurs. Yeah, Derek, I always preferred a single leg semi final, to be honest with you. Two leg semi finals can be nervy affairs, especially the first leg. No one will. Well, they get themselves level here, and he's gone and scored to level us again. Well, here is the replay, and to be fair, the keeper from that distance hasn't got much chance of keeping it out. Lovely goal. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. This. And a substitution in the offing. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Into the advanced position. Now, can he deliver accurately? Read it magnificently and intercepted. And Javier with it. Nian. He's got to clatter it away. Decent some progress with the ball at his feet. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. And Hoybier with it. Fans enjoyed that pass. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Well, a chance here perhaps to invigorate their aerial targets. Corner kick played in. He's given it away. Rivière, whatever it takes to keep them out. Well, let's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Good visualisation and execution. Great opportunity. He's foiled them on his own. Javier. Hunt. Javier. Priority was to hang on to the ball, which he did. Well, the header, but a comfortable save for the goalkeeper. Yeah, he has to do better than that. I could have saved that, Derek. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. And space for the cross. Well, the header was respectable, but the goalkeeper always seemed to have it covered. 
Well, he's given us a, a real opening now. Clean through he was then, but he's fluffed his lines, Lee. Well, he just put his head down, Derek, and hit it. He's got to do better than that. Useful looking position, you've got to say. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Five minutes remaining and level pegging here. Well, the home fans are a little bit frustrated today. The team hasn't been at their best, but surely the quality will count in the end. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Well, he was just a fraction offside then. That's all he needs to be, a fraction. And it was so close. They couldn't maintain possession. Elliot. Losing possession a bit easily. The electronic board has been held along. And in with a real chance. And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. Well, you just never know about chances near the end. You've got to be opportunistic. Will this corner do it? He knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. And that is that, the end of the game. Just a couple of questions. That's all the
Good evening. I must say it's hard enough to deal with the pressure of a big football occasion, but add to that the snow factor and things really get ratcheted up. I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by the former Arsenal defender Lee Dixon and live action to come from... FA Cup. It's Carlisle United up against Southampton. Well, it was so tight the first time around, wasn't it, Derek? Fascinating to see what the coaches will do tactically to try and get the edge here. We're about to find out. We're going to get a winner today. A really sumptuous ball. Does it quite do enough? This is how it looks for the home side. 4-4-2, but not necessarily a conventional one. They're more likely to be a 4-4-1-1, Derek, and that second striker given the freedom to roam anywhere he wants on the pitch. And here's how it looks for Southampton. The wing backs are going to be crucial in this setup. You've played in that position, Lee. Yeah, I didn't really like it. And we always thought when we were playing against five at the back with the wing backs exposed like this in this formation that a 4-4-2 can really create a 2v1 down the side, so keep your eye out for that. And the three narrow midfield players supply the support for the two forwards up front. From one side of the pitch to the other. Hunt. This attack looks highly promising. Teammates in the middle. In it goes! An early goal! No wonder they're celebrating! So they are playing again, and Southampton are the team in front. A goal has been scored in the Huddersfield Town match. Alan McAnally with more. It's a goal for Huddersfield Town. 15 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, as an intelligent threaded pass here. And he could cash in. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. So 2-0 now. Individual quality coming to the fore. Jan Valéry. Options in the centre. Thou shalt not pass was the message delivered. It looks promising. And they could get one back here. It could be up for grabs. Well, Southampton enjoying the bulk of possession here. And all of their team are enjoying this performance. That's why they're winning. And that's why they're one of the best teams. Beautifully disguised ball. Can they get in behind them? Inside he goes. Will he finish? Well, it might still work out for them. Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. Firing it towards goal. Well, it's goal after goal after goal. Just no end to this. A brilliant display. And we're underway again. This game very much over as a contest. Let's go to Alan McAnally because I believe there's been a change to the scoreline in the Preston match, Alan. It's a second goal for Preston North End. It's been scored by Graham Burke. The keeper came to punch across, didn't get much on it, and he lifted the ball back over the keeper's head into the net. 33 minutes played, 2-0. Many thanks, Alan. He continues his run. Will he find the net? Well, straight at the goalkeeper then. You've got to keep the ball a bit better than that. A chance to whip it in. And the cross into the middle. Well, the clearance half-hearted.
couldn't keep it. He has time to play it over. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Lemina. Beautifully weighted ball. The first half here comes to an end. Hunt. And so the second half is underway. They took quite the thrashing in that first 45. Can they turn things around now? An unforced error, you've got to say. Read it superbly to take back possession. Doria. Here's Lamina. Well, don't forget we have the decisive second leg of the Carabao Cup semi-final coming up for you live on EA TV. It's Southampton facing Spurs. Yeah, it surely has to be an epic game. Two sides doing everything in their power to make it to the final. All on the line. Has to be a cracker, Derek. Luca Bacchio. Well, there's been a goal elsewhere. Alan McAnally with the latest. It's a goal for the visitors. 52 minutes, please. 2-1. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Off the post! back in play and he has just veered into an offside position this time well they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change oh a lovely ball well not quite So we're not going to be speculating about this transfer story anymore. There has been considerable speculation. Artur has completed his move to Manchester City, Lee. Well, Derek, the figure, I think, is around £60 million. I think you're getting one heck of a player for that sort of money. He should be a real asset to the club. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. And dispossessed. in the right place to intercept that is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances He succeeds in clearing it. Read now. It's with Thomas Boutink. Luca Bacchio. Whatever way you look at that, it's been squandered. A change to the scoreline, I believe, in the Blackpool game. Let's hear all about it from Alan McAdally. It's the second goal for Blackpool. 72 minutes played. 2-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. And Hoybier with it. Reed. They've regained possession. Well, great read there to intercept. Now, can he deliver accurately? It really is such a free-scoring performance. Just nothing the defenders can do about it, seemingly. And as they restart the game, it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge. Here's Lamina. And the cross into the middle. A cross there that was decidedly ordinary. Well, he's given it away.
Nian. Good technique display. Oh, surely. That is a moment he would dearly love to have back, if possible. Yeah, it wasn't his best effort, was it? But I bet he thought, I haven't got anything on. Why not try a shot? Inside the final five minutes now. Spot on with that tackle. Harrison Reed, Nian, Baitink. Can they switch to an even higher gear? Can they get in behind them? He cuts it back. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Couldn't hang on to it. No more football tonight. The final whistle. Some questions regarding the match. I'll be all, thank you.